CPMF, uh, European Center for Press and Media Freedom, welcomes our two journalists in residence, Murat Bai and Nazan Estran. The CHP's victory in the rerun elections is considered to be a win for the Turkish democracy. Are we also going to see more liberal tendencies in the Turkish media landscape now? Mm, everyone says this uh, election uh, result is a victory and a start of democracy, uh, which I find a little bit exaggerating. It's a big thing and it's, a, it's a just a start point. Very nice, very good and very hopeful start point. Unfortunately, Erdogan is still there as a president and his media still have power and money and finance uh, sources. I hope uh, new uh, people, new companies will uh, hope, uh, will have hope for the uh, next days to make any other uh, media uh, possibilities. I again want to uh, say that uh, it's not a victory, it's not a uh, big democracy starting, but we are now more close to free media. To which extent do you think the state-controlled media might have lost influence over the public during the uh, local elections? In Turkey, 95% of uh, media controlled by AKP and government and media ownership uh, is really very pro AKP. The media became more Erdoganist than Erdogan. They are acting like uh, speak uh, persons of the government. This is not journalism. This is kind of propaganda or this is kind of PR, which is not a journalism. And being a media, being a journalist is uh, taking care of uh, people interest, not governments or powerful interest. Uh, so if you don't uh, give the uh, real uh, info, you make bad analysis at the end. How do you think uh, the pro-government mainstream media will deal with a possible rising opposition? If they are clever, they will make and uh, they have to rethink what we did wrong. But if they are uh, not that clever, <laughs> uh, they will uh, continue the way they are coming, which uh, like they will uh, blame and label uh, people, opposition people, like terrorists, like uh, bad people and traitors, like this they used to do at the uh, before uh, hand, uh, but this will be the end of them, unfortunately. The HDP watership widely contributed to the CHP's victory. Is this a chance for Kurdish media to be more present in Turkey as well? Yeah, first we have to understand this dynamic of this uh, cooperation. So. So if we are talking about Kurdish question, uh, then everything suddenly became more complicated because uh, the first, uh, the Turkish uh, part has to, has to, uh, you know, win their Kurdish phobia. That's why if we can find a solution about this, uh, then we can think about to, uh, to, we can say about the Kurdish people can be more free in the media or they can use their media groups or they can be more shown on the media. We, we need to find a new reason to be all together in this, in this democratic bloc. Uh, otherwise, we will repeat everything again and, and nothing will change. What needs to change to support uh, the emergence of more independent and alternative media outlets to break through the polarization in the Turkish media landscape. Yeah, if we are talking polarization, we have to talk about two different, or two, at least two different points. But it's not fair because the pro-government media, they are really huge and they have a huge opportunity and financing. Um, 
the other opposition really under pressure of everything, not only the court or police or other things. So the financing also the, uh, really important. But nowadays we we saw a lot of Western media is coming to Turkey, like BBC was there, Deutsche Welle, Independent Turkish, and also uh, the, the some of them. And this is now it's good to to see them because they have the own uh, financer and it's good. So the Turkish people just follow the Turkish agenda from the Western media. So it's enough for that. Now it's okay, but for the future it's not enough, of course. A lot of Turkish journalists have refuged and left the country over the past years. After your time here as a journalist in residence, program, what is your perspective on exile journalism? Um, I cannot compare my, me and them because I am here with a program, so my uh, I have a lot of advantage than them. For example, flats and some small budget and there are some people who are supporting me, but those people, most of them had to came by illegal. So uh, this exiling from Turkey to here, it's also a tragedy for journalism because yeah, they came here of July in the general election. Erdogan also lost two years ago, but the, the Western countries came and stand behind of Erdogan. So it was also win of the democracy. But uh, this time it's working uh, different, so we need solidarity actually so if we are really if we really want to see the a democratic turkey so we need more solidarity we can i can only say that